Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient with anterior knee pain, and they had a couple interesting findings. Number one is that the kneecap is high in position on a developmental basis. We call this patella alta, A-L-T-A, and patella alta is when the length of the patellar tendon from the bottom of the patella to the tibia is more than 1.5 times the length of the patellar height. So if the patella was three centimeters in height, then the patellar tendon would have to be 4.5 centimeters or more to be patella alta. Sometimes you can just tell by looking at this. Usually if the patellar tendon is 6 centimeters or more that is a patella alta. I found out just over the years. And so let's measure this. So this is 3.5 and this is about 6 and so this is patella alta more than 1.5 times. Now in this view in axial fat suppressed T2 sequence we see the patella, normally it has a more of a deep ridge centrally and the trochlea has a deeper sulcus. So this is a congenitally shallow trochlear sulcus, it's relatively flat and then again the patellar articular surface is relatively flat. We don't really see a medial lateral facet, it's this gentle curve here. Also a little bit of sperm from the medial compartment, so a couple of funny developmental anomalies. And then the last thing is just below the patella we go down, we see this bright signal here. This is in Hoffa's fat pad, the upper outer uh, corner of it. And this is fatty impingement. There's abnormal pressure and uh, the fat is getting pinched here over the lateral trochlear ridge. Normally when we see this is with lateral patellar subluxation. A lot of times they have a congenitally high trochlear ridge here, but this is normal size, but just related to abnormal mechanics of stress from these other findings. And we can appreciate this on the sagittal images as well. If we go laterally, we see it right in this area here. See how white that is? Normal fat down here, fat suppressed is dark. Here, really, really bright. So fatty impingement uh, in the uh, uh, Hoffa's fat pad, superior lateral margin, associated with this patella alta. You also had a little bit of bright signal in the patellar tendon here, some minimal tendinosis. And that's it. Thank you very much.